I'm Andrew from Ether Automation, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a email intake form in Zoho Creator. So let's imagine you want to um, have certain emails um, added into Zoho Creator so you could process them in weird ways or do analytics or whatever you want to do. I have a specific reason that I'm going to roll out in a few months for why, why I like this, but you could want this for any number of reasons. So if you want to set that up, um, you're going to want to set up a email address for the Zoho Creator uh, form. Um, and we're going to show you how to do all of that on this call. So let me start out by sharing my screen. And hopefully this is the right screen. Otherwise, it'll be a short video. Okay. So I'm in a brand new Zoho Creator um, app. Right, I just created this it's called email demo. There's nothing in it. All right, we just got this this brand new thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a form, and then I'm going to um, create some fields for that form, and I'm going to show you how to get the email address to forward in this form. So let's go and create a new form from scratch. Email intake. Now you can call it whatever you want. Uh, but the important things are the following fields. You need a ZC underscore subject field. And this is where it's going to put in the subject line. I'm going to do a rich text field for ZC underscore content. And then I'm going to do another one right here for... ZC underscore email. Now, you can also do one for ZC underscore attachments, but for uh, the purpose of this uh, video, I'm not going to do that. Then up here in the settings, uh, if you're in Zoho Creator 5, it will be in here, all right? There will be this... Um, um, section here where you would send that in. Because we're in Zoho Creator 6, um, it's actually in another location. Um, I'm going to show you how to get to that location. So you go to Operations and then click Form Email Data get for an email, let's select our uh, demo here, email intake, show, and this is the email address. I'm gonna click allow from everyone. I'm gonna copy that email address and I'm going to send an email in another screen. So I've just sent it, right? And while it's sending, um, I'm going to cover a couple of other things here, all right? So I'm going to click done, and I'm going to go to workflow. Now, if you want to trigger a workflow out of an email being sent into the creator app, the gut reaction would be to create a workflow and then say on create of a you know, uh, thing, you, 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 you make this workflow, right? And that's fine, but there are some problems with that. From my experience, um, if we go to the settings, uh, if you're in Creator 5, there's an audit log. If I go to here, go to logs, view logs for email demo, right? Um, sometimes, if you email it in and the workflow errors out, the record isn't actually created, right? So what you want to do is create a schedule function, create a workflow and say, at a time uh, after, let's say one minute, then run this workflow, right? And then from there you can, you know, run your function, either a uh, notification or an integration, or, you know, my favorite is the deluge script and you can write whatever code you want. 
the input done. So now we have that here. Now, if I go to this application now, it usually takes a couple minutes after the um, you've created the email address to report to start receiving the email address, but here are the emails, but here it is. So this is my test email and this is the content. The ZC email didn't work. I believe that should actually be ZC sender. Um, no, it's actually ZC from, right? And that will, um, what will this will do is this will show you the um, the email address it was sent from, the subject line, and then the content. In my case, it's just gonna show my email because I'm the only one who has access to this. Till the end of this video where I'll delete this uh, form. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.